Greetings, Aries. I hope you are doing lovely. This is going to be your weekly reading from the 15th of April through the 21st. Happy birthday to those Arians that are having birthdays around this time. What's going on in your love life? What's going on in your love life? Get two more shuffles. There we are, baby, at the bottom of the deck, the Queen of Wands. Queen of Pentacles here, first card out. Could be dealing with an earth sign or just an individual here that exudes stability, groundedness, someone that is quite invested in the material realm and not in a negative way. This is someone that excels in this department, okay? However, with the Ace of Cups being here in the challenge position, I feel that the same paradigm just has been playing over and over and over again. And something new is necessary. Something new to enter the relationship. There must be some sort of change. Okay? Some sort of change is what's being hindered. And look what we have here in the challenge. I mean, in the subconscious. The subconscious is deep within your mind, ladies and gentlemen. And what seems to envelop your subconscious is an essence of abandonment. It's a cold energy. This isn't a fun energy to be experiencing or to be perceiving in love, all right? The magician in the past, this is something, you've been cultivating something, you've been devising something for some time, but it seems that whatever it is that you're trying to manifest or work towards turned out to be an absolute fiasco. Why do I say that? Because I see conflict in your mind, in your perception, ladies and gentlemen. I see conflict. So this is, I feel it's, you know, it's quite a turbulent time for you. And this turbulence, Aries, isn't going anywhere anytime soon, as we're seeing the Three of Swords, a card of emotional wounds, extend it into the future. What is going on here? What energy are you exuding? It seems that like you're quite receptive and open to cooperating and collaborating with an individual and the individual themselves. They seem to be receptive as well. Okay, this is a card of reciprocity. So we've got two people here that are wanting to work with one another. Wanting to work with each other and cultivate a flow and exchange of energy. Beautiful, beautiful. But why all the tumultuousness? All right. Now, the high priestess in your desires. Guys, I feel that there's information here that is absent, that you're seeking to understand, that you're seeking, that you're seeking, period. All right. Why is the judgment? Let's elaborate further on the judgment. This is realization. This is a decision. This is an understanding that will change the paradigm of your life. Okay, the four of wands. The realization of the significance regarding this relationship. Tell me more. Why the judgment? Guys, there's been a lot of investment into this relationship already, okay? So, every, you're definitely realizing the, the potency and the, the significance of this relationship, okay? But, but where the hell is it going? Why, why all this stagnant energy? Why, why all this prosperous thinking, but, or, you know, it seems like your actions are aligned with prospering this situation, but your thoughts, your mind, your perspective is just, Surrounded by turbulence. Why is the five of wands here? Why is the five of wands here on your mind? Interesting. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Aries, look. Aries. All right. Some of you guys have more than one option in love. Okay, and if you, you don't, someone here is coming around. Someone here is, is, there's external energy that is coming into an already existing relationship is what I'm understanding. All right, and this is bound to stir some discombobulation. It's bound to stir some discombobulation. Aries, I mean, you are single after all. You are single. You're going to have an opportunity in love and a new opportunity, a new opportunity that that is going to kind of stumble you. It's going to stumble you, ladies and gentlemen. That is what I'm saying here, flat out. All right? It's not to say that you're a cheater. That's not to say that you're a deceitful snake or anything like that. It seems that 
You've been investing into an individual, a relationship that is just encompassed by stability. However, there's external energy that is coming your way if it hasn't already. And that is what's challenging this, your current, your love life. You know what's challenging your love life? A new opportunity. Now, that's not a bad problem to have, right? That's not a bad problem to have, especially, I mean, if you are in love with someone and you're cultivating something good, then maybe it'd be easy for you to just do away with this new opportunity. Maybe just make yourself unavailable emotionally and, and focus on what the good, the good thing that you're cultivating here. If that a new opportunity seems quite alluring, then shit, you're going to break some hearts. You're going to have to break some hearts, Aries. Look, you're not in a bad position, ladies and gentlemen. It seems like you're desired. All right. However, with such power, with such essence of being desired, you're bound to abandon people. You're bound to break people's emotions or hearts, so on and so forth. It is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. It is what it is. Now, <clears throat> why is the high priestess here? <sighs> why is the high priestess here? You already know this. You, you know this. You know this, Aries. Look at, look, Aries. I feel that you're going. You're putting yourself. Well, look. It's just life in general. You're you're leading. You're being led to a position in which you may feel as if you have to keep secrets, as if you have to know something and keep hush about it. All right. And this itself is something that is vexing. That's something that will upset you, something that won't feel too good within you. It doesn't feel good. Aries, you do not have this energy within you to, to just abandon and destroy and hurt emotionally, stir negative emotions within someone and just feel nonchalant about it. All right. But it comes with, it, it just, it comes with your life. It comes with, <laughs> look at these new opportunities, ladies and gentlemen. Look at these different options. Aries has options. Aries has options, flat out. And they're going to have to, they're going to have to abandon, they're going to have to abandon something or something. They're going to have to abandon someone. Okay. And that is the realization that you're coming to by the end of this week, which will ultimately lead to this heartbreak. Aries, wow. This is quite an interesting reading. What is it that you can do? What is it that you can do to better navigate the situation, Aries? Let's get some advice for you here. What is it that you can do to better navigate the situation? <clears throat> the Empress, you see the Empress is, is just absolute high value. The Empress is, is the feminine aspect. Males, this applies to you as well. The Empress is, is openness. So, Aries, you're in a position where you have multiple suitors or you have people fighting over you. So it seems, okay? People desiring your emotional attention, desiring your attention, period. You, you best go into this state of, this feminine state of openness, okay? That, and that's what the feminine energy essence is. It's just, it's not the assertive masculine where we impose our beliefs and we impose our control and trying to create our reality. It's more so we allow reality to happen. We are, we're open and receptive. See what comes. See what comes, ladies and gentlemen. And it is only through that feminine essence that you'll know what way to go. Okay? That's it. When it comes to this, it's that feminine essence that you're wanting to tap into. That divine feminine essence. Tell me more. Tell me more. Oh my God. Did I just shuffle? I got the same goddamn card. The Empress. <laughs> this doesn't happen, guys. This doesn't happen, right? <clears throat> the Queen of Wands. I'm just getting repetitive energy. Aries, you, you seem to be of high value. You seem to be of high vibration. You seem to be in your element. Okay? You're like a flame. You're attracting moths. All right? Be the flame, ladies and gentlemen. You are this fucking hot, alluring essence. People are going to want to get close to you. Okay? They're going to want to get close to you. It is what it is. And you're going to have to make some wise choices. Why? Because you're going to have to break some hearts. You're going to have to basically put people in a, in, in a place where they don't want to be emotionally. That is what I'm saying here. All right? Why is the Ace of, why is the Ace of Cups in the challenge position. 
Why is the Ace of Cups in the challenge position? <clears throat> All right, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, look at the Emperor. The Emperor. You know what, Aries? I feel that an already existent relationship is coming back around. It's like maybe nothing new is coming. It's just like some, something already existent, something profound, something strong that you are a bit inclined to invest into. But you're not in the position to invest into because you're invested elsewhere. This is a third party situation that you find yourself in, Aries. All right, you're not the one being cheated on. You're the one being desired. And this is not a bad position to be in. Okay? It's not a bad position to be in. It is what it is. Aries, you're the emperor, okay? You're the emperor, and your advice is to tap into your feminine side. Tap into that emperor side, all right? Just be open, receptive. Allow life to unfold before you. This is not a time to impose your control. This is a time to impose this nurturing energy, to project this nurturing energy onto, onto, the surround, onto what's, what's manifesting around your life. This is a, a time to allow life to manifest before you, not for you to seek to impose and manifest life, if that makes sense, all right? Now, Aries, I'm going to take this to the extended and I'm going to bore into this individual that you seem to be having a nice flow in cultivating with. All right. This is reciprocity. So the good relationship that you got going on, I'm going to look into this, but I'm also going to look into external energy coming your way. All right. I'm going to tap into this external energy to see what's going on with this individual as well. What are their true desires with you? What are their intentions? All right. So if you're curious, I'll see you in the extended. Otherwise, Aries, it's a pleasure as always.